so hi everyone welcome back so today we'll be talking about latency and throughput why engineers prefer low latency and high throughput so let's get started so hi everyone i am paras patidar i am a software engineer so let's get started on this so let's first start about latency and throughput right so basically latency is time required to perform some actions and produce result right it is basically some time which is been required to do some action but in case of throughput it is number of such actions performed or executed in per unit of time basically right so how many actions we can perform in that unit of time that is throughput so in latency you know we actually measure time right but in throughput basically in that amount of time how many actions can be performed okay so that is throughput so uh, I, i'll give you an example right uh, i was browsing online i'll find this image so i thought converting this to an r relatable example okay so as you can see latency is uh, one arrow takes one second to reach somewhere right in throughput three arrows in one second so you can understand the difference right latency basically means we are calculating the time it takes to reach an arrow to a point right so it takes one second to reach the arrow but throughput is basically we can execute three arrows in a second you can understand the difference right we are parallelly executing three arrows which is taking one second so means in one second we are executing three arrows so this is this is what throughput and latency is so i'll give you a more technical example okay so as you can see i have shared an example here right where we have a server which takes one second to process the request coming from the users okay so this means that one second is the average time to process that request in the server right if a, if a user goes to instagram and fetch some story right see, check some story that takes one second to load that is latency but throughput is we have the same server which accepts 100 requests per second which are coming from users basically now 100 people are opening that story so every people can every people will take one second to open that story that is throughput means server is able server has the capacity to handle 100 users at a time in a second so that is throughput right so this is a major difference between latency and throughput in latency we measure time to process that request in throughput in how many such actions can be performed in that seconds that is throughput Right, so this is this is why uh, people like engineers prefer no. So they they prefer we have should we should have low latency. In a minimum of time we can process a request, but we can process maximum request in that particular time. That is why we actually prefer low latency and high throughput. Hope you hope you got the idea on what is latency and throughput and why do we prefer low latency and high throughput, right? So yeah, thank you so much, guys. Uh, hope you liked it. If you liked it, do share, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.